ERS is an environmental recycling system that efficiently turns waste into multiple resources with commercial value. This high-speed composting, fermentation and drying system converts waste into value-added products such as fertilizer, animal feed and even raw materials for concrete within a few hours. The main ingredient in this system comes from these tiny microbes. ERS harnesses the power of specific aerobic microbes that are collected from the local soil in the area. This is to ensure that the recycled waste matches the eco-conditions of the surrounding area. With the use of these specific microbes, ERS is able to compost waste into fertilizers within two to four hours, compared to the conventional way of six weeks. The microbes are multiplied and stored in an ERS reactor. The reactor uses a pressure and temperature controlled environment to create an ideal condition for the aerobic microbes to multiply exponentially, thereby decomposing the organic matter and evaporating moisture in just two to four hours. This is compared to conventional composting, which takes over 1,008 hours. To understand how revolutionary this patented technology is, we need to gain insight into the conventional treatment of waste in a typical town. Mixed waste is separated into organic and inorganic matter. After being crushed in a hopper, the solids and liquids are separated. Solid waste is sent to landfills or public incinerators. This might contaminate the land and releases greenhouse gases into the air. Burning the waste also takes up a large amount of energy. In some cases, the liquid waste is dumped into the ocean. This leads to contamination and toxic trace chemicals being released into the marine environment. Using the simple and compact ERS, both solid and liquid waste can be treated at the same time. The microbes digest the waste, turning solid matter into fertilizer or animal feed. Water content will be recovered by the heat exchange and used back in the system's cooling tower. No odors are released and energy costs are kept low by recycling the fermentation heat. This technology has already been applied in many countries. From turning kitchen waste in hotels, into fertilizers for hotel landscaping projects, to converting sediment built up in hydroelectric dams into raw materials for cement, to channeling tons of unusable fish waste that could pollute the seas into high-protein aquaculture feed. ERS delivers benefits not only to consumers, but to the planet at large. There are no discharges to air, land or water. The plant is hermetically sealed and all process emissions are recovered and then recycled, leaving no residual substances such as greenhouse gases and odors. Energy from the fermentation process is recovered and used in the drying process. Wastewater is recovered as coolant in the cooling tower as well. Since 1993, over 180 ERS machines have been in operation throughout Asia. This is because of its simple structure and a one-push control button. Only motors, pumps and some other rotating device require maintenance. No microorganisms or bacteria are brought from abroad and all the processes are undertaken under local conditions. This minimizes environmental problems caused by bacterial contamination. Non-hazardous waste products are processed to create valuable byproducts. In the dairy industry, one of the proven applications is the conversion of indigestible hard fibers from sugarcane waste into digestible fiber feed. This improves palatability of feed, increases feed intake and speeds up the growth of dairy cows as well as improves milk production. It also significantly reduces concentration of harmful gases, creating an odorless and perfect breeding environment. ERS technology has been tested and proven in producing bioproducts, and in recognition of this, Okinawa Dairy Farm Association has agreed to purchase all animal feed produced by the ERS system. By finding new uses for and giving additional life to products and materials that would otherwise burden our landfills and pollute our skies and water, ERS has proven that it can solve one of the biggest problems facing the planet.